what are your upcoming plans like i i know it's such a trivial thing you know to to, to talk about but do you have new year's resolutions you know that stuff like is there something that you're particularly excited about the next year um something that you're looking forward to or um yeah i mean i think i just really want to make the year as productive as possible mm -hmm. um versatile versatile like you know i'm getting I, I can announce to you, I think you're the first person I'll oh. say it to, but we are actually coming back to the UK yes. in April. So I yes. have officially confirmed some shows for Vigil of War yes. in April of 2023. I'm very excited. Yes. Um, it's been, I can't believe how fast time is going. It's just, it's blown my mind. I mean, obviously we got two years taken away from COVID, but it'll be four years in February since we've been there. So Whoa. we're definitely overdue and I'm so excited to come back. Oh so God, yes. we're doing that, um, recording new music, releasing new music, and then Dragon Force is going to be busy as well. Second half of the year. Um, and then we're recording the new Dragon Force album now. So Oh. Yeah, so there's a lot going on. So I think it's going to be a good, productive year. Oh, that's that's amazing. And um, yeah. was <laughs> um, was your play, uh, last Visual for UK tour the one that um, we met at in in mm -hmm. Manchester? Oh wow! Yeah, we've only done it the one time. So I can't believe it, it doesn't feel that long ago. But, it, but yeah, it's almost four years. So. Jesus, it's, yes. Time has just gone by too fast. I'm like, you know what? We just need to get back over already. <laughs> like, let's oh, do it. So I would so love to attend the show, you know, because um, and I've mentioned this to so many people. That show um, I watched you performing was, you know, it, it had such a pure raw rock and roll vibe to it. You know, in, in a <laughs> in a in a such a I'd say, you know, um, in a such rare way, because there's so many bands that are, you know, going with this, with the, with the aesthetics and, you know, with the, with the vision and whatnot. But what you did back then, I really felt like I was in a, in a sun club in the eighties, just watching a breakthrough band performing. What? Oh, yeah, thank you. Of course. No, <laughs> that I, I, means so much. <laughs> of course. I mean, I, I really mean it as well. Um, I even remember just texting people about that because, you know, we were in this sort of, I, I, I remember that place so well. Like it, it was in this sort of like smaller bar, was it? it, it, it yeah, it, it was just a tiny little place with like not that many people there. <laughs> yeah. I think it was called the Castle. The castle, it, it might have been it. Yeah, I remember the interior very well, and it was very yeah. old school, you know, with the with all the <laughs> architecture and all of that. And yeah, the, the, there was a good amount of people, but the space wasn't really big. But I remember that again when you started playing it was like really, you know, like one of those scenes you watch in a biopic biopic movies about bands where you know you, they just start playing in front of a few people but they have it you know oh, it, it, it feels thank really, you honestly yeah <laughs> it's a lot yeah sure well, i mean i, I really mean it you know I, I, i'm not really trying saying this no to, yeah to kind you're, you're very genuine always so yeah, thank you but, um that's why i'm so you know looking forward to what you perform live again because I think, uh, you know, this is my personal opinion, but it feels that not many bands nowadays can, um, you know, induce this sort of pure passion to music through um, their sets and through performing live, which is, you know, um, I don't know. I, I just really like the old school vibe to it, you know, for just a few people just you know um expressing their through passion through performing which is uh you know i guess this is the beauty of music in general but yeah yeah true well thank you that means a lot and i'm excited for you to see us again i honestly can say like i personally think we've grown even way mm -hmm. more since four years ago and you know i'm 
we have a lot more music too because i remember back then i think we were only a year old and uh, people were like more and we're like we don't have any other songs I actually, <laughs> our yeah. set was like 30 minutes long or something <laughs> but now we've got a lot more music yes. and grown a lot as artists like as musicians so i think it's yeah i'm very excited to return and <laughs> yeah. yeah i actually remember that you know i was like whoa this is a short set and people are like oh <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it will be good to have a like a full set um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> well um but yeah it seems that you'll be having a very productive here like this is um this is you know, it's always fantastic to see that.